Hey guys, Unknown Knight here again. Today we will be having a first look on the Hardcore Henry Heist and Update 97. The Hardcore Henry update brings us two new Heists, one Stealth only and the other Loud only. Four masks, ten achievements, one melee weapon and one pistol. I'll also be sharing about Update 97 which has a few significant updates namely a patch for the Black Dozer damage tables, some added fail lines for Bane, and framing frame day 3 camera placement for stealth. For this round of achievements, we have 10. 9 of them can be achieved solo. One of them has to be done with a full crew and is perk deck related, though it can be done in any loud heist. I'll do an achievement guide video for this later, but for the last one, Megalomania, I already have a video guide on it. You can find the link right here in the description. As usual, some bookmarks here for you to jump around. Alright, so for update 97, as mentioned, we have a few updates, so let's do the new voice lines added for Bane, which will play at the fail screen, which is very similar to Payday the Heist if you have played that. And I totally failed on purpose so you guys can hear this. Uh, yeah, right. Sorry, I'm sorry. There were some things I couldn't foresee. There are some strings I can pull. I'm gonna look into it right now. I got more hits lined up for you. Sure hope you'll be ready to work again soon. I checked everything. How did it go down like this? I should have seen this coming. I must be getting old. Take some time to collect yourselves. Then come back stronger than ever. There are other heists waiting on you. I'll keep them on ice. Oh, this is just totally full bar. Sometimes you eat the bear, and sometimes the bear eats you. No worries. We'll sort this out in no time flat. I got more hits lined up for you. Sure hope you'll be ready to work again soon. Happen. I am sorry, I'm sorry. There were some things I couldn't foresee. I'll start working on the prison break plan right away. I have more scores set up for you. Hope we can collaborate again in the future. So next would be the Black Dozer damage patch, which is more significant on Death Wish, so I'm not going to cover the other difficulties. The damage has been scaled down from a minimum and maximum of 175 to 400, to 105 to 240. So if you used to die in 2-3 to three shots, you can probably tank a few more shots compared to before. And last for the update, Framing Frame Day 3 has some changes in the second floor camera placement and is no longer facing the bookshelf. So when the vault spawns on the second floor, it will never be spotted by the camera. This also means that your stealth builds can exclude camera loop if you want to use those skill points elsewhere. Now let's compare that to the previous placement. And in case you're wondering, there's no change to the camera on the first floor. The camera can still spawn facing the back shortcut. And that's all I have for update 97.
we have four new masks. Uh, all four of them are locked behind achievements with two for each heist. For the boiling point ones, one is locked behind a very hard difficulty and the other on overkill difficulty. Since they are all achievement masks, you can only have one of them. They are also supposed to be references to other games or media. So here's what they look like. Alright, so you can find the new mask under the normal tab, right all the way at the end. And these are the four new masks. And out of the four masks, only one of them uh, is modeled to have the elastic backing, which is this mask. That's the elastic backing. While the, the other three are all wrapped around the head like an actual helmet. Oh, oh wait. Just return this. Yep, this one as well, and also the last one. Okay, so as mentioned earlier, they are supposed to be references to some other games or media. For this one, I'm not really sure, um, but there's a symbol right here, maybe it's familiar to some of you out there. And the other one, this is very obvious. Um, it is definitely a reference to the Splinter Cell series, although I believe Sam Fisher wore a green, a green light on. The green light is very distinct. So this is more like the. This is actually the Clocus, the Russian Clocus. Night vision goggles, actually, from the Boiling Point Heist. And this, I definitely know this one. Um, is definitely by Demolition Man, which you actually see mentioned here in the description. And I only played the video game back then, I, I didn't really watch the movie, I was too young. But yep. And the last one, it is supposed to be inspired by an anime, which I totally have no idea which anime it is. Yep, so these are the four new masks that we have in this Henry Heist update. Alright, so what we have here is the electric brass knuckles, which is similar to the buzzer electric weapon from the Golden Green Casino DLC. For one, it's an electric weapon, which has the same effect as a taser tasing players. And although it has a charge time, uh, charging it up does nothing at all, and the knockdown value is also not used at all. In the game, all enemies can be tased except for Bulldozers, Winters, Commissar and Hector. For the stun time, when an enemy is tased, they will be stunned randomly between 3.2 to 3.9 seconds. So the electric breath knuckles is useful for various things like tasing cloakers to disable them before they can do anything or to stop them while they are charging, though it's harder to tase them when they are charging. You need good timing and lots of practice. Otherwise, if you really, really hate tasers, you can do this. Or you can also taste enemies to reduce their health so that you can dominate them without them shooting back at you. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at the new secondary, the White Streak Pistol. And we're going to use an empty skill set so you can see the raw values without all the other skills adding stats to it. Okay, so the closest weapon that we can compare to would be the Baby D Eagle, but we'll look at that later. And as usual, um, I have four standard variations. The stock version, and the loud version, the silence version, and the concealed version. 
for these I will be building with non-DLC mod parts um, because this is a non-DLC weapon after all. So let's take a look at the stock version. Okay, so these are the stats we can see. Um, let's compare it to the D Eagle since that is this is basically like a, v a different version of the D Eagle. So the stats are pretty much very close. The magazine total ammo. It has a higher rate of fire, the damage is actually exactly the same, accuracy is slightly worse off, stability is uh, slightly better, consumer slightly better, but much less threat. Yep, so basically it's like a, a smaller version of the Deagle if you actually look at the weapon model. It actually looks more like a, a Glock yep, compared to the Deagle right here. Alright, so let's look at the loud version. So with the loud version, we have an extra 2 to the magazine. Um, extra 20 to your accuracy, which you can further boost by taking the Masterminds plus 4 and the Technicians plus 4 to accuracy for a total of 96 accuracy, which is very good. And for the silence version, which is... Well, is uh, the same, pretty much the same with slightly worse accuracy, better stability, and slightly worse consuming. And for the concealed version, actually basically there's no difference with the stock, uh, stock version because there are no mods that actually add to the consumer. So what I actually have, the plus one here, is actually from the consumer boost and I have a laser right there. Yep, I have a micro laser attachment. So let's now compare it to the closest um, variant that we can compare to which is the Baby D Eagle. And with this you can actually see that they actually have the exact same stats. So let us compare as again, um, build for build. So this is the loud version. It has two more ammo in the magazine. Um, Slightly less stability and slightly less consumer. You'll notice that they mostly trade um the two different weapons they actually trade off a few stats here and there is is pretty much the same. And for uh the, the loud versions of the weapon, they is mostly the magazine, you'll see. It's the magazine and what they trade for trade off is slightly worse accuracy, slightly worse stability. And for the concealed version, the Baby D Eagle is more concealed and has slightly better accuracy but slightly worse stability. Yep. Okay, so basically what um what is good about the white streak pistol is that it has compared to the D Eagle it which is the closest thing we have. Uh, not considering not considering the baby deagle at all is that um, it has a much better rate of fire it is actually pretty much like the Bernetti yeah it's actually a, the same as the Bernetti 9 so it actually has a better fire rate than the deagle it also has a much smaller frame so when you actually fire the weapon uh, you won't have so much recoil so let's take a quick comparison right here to see how the weapons look like when firing rapidly. Alright, so um, two things I do not like about the white streak pistol is that one, um, the iron sight itself, there's no clear indication. It is all black. Compared to the Baby D Eagle, 
you can actually see that the sides have these dots to help align your side properly so it's actually much easier for me to use them to, to aim you uh, aim with reflex when firing at something and the other thing is that the frame of the white streak pistol is a bit too small for my liking for example you can see here that it is almost the same size as the barrel extension itself so looking at the silence version which I'm using the jungle ninja suppressor you actually see that the barrel itself is even bigger than the frame so essentially when you're aiming at something far you have your view slightly blocked and now while this is an, uh, an exaggeration but imagine if you have fitted it with the jungle ninja suppressor <laughs> this no no I mean the budget suppressor if <laughs> this is what you would get I mean I'm totally not sure how you be aiming with this at all imagine playing with this in a loud heist Alright, so that's the white streak pistol for you. If you haven't tried it, go try it out and see if you like it. Left. Let us first look at Murky Station, which is a new stealth only heist. Very similar to Shadow Raid because of all the murkies. You will also encounter some reuse assets all put together in one heist like key cards, blow torches, termite and hard disk. It's also the first time we have a pistol's weapon loot and the weapons loot now uh, have been renamed to show either the pistols or rifles. Also there are several other reuse concepts like laser beams, dumpsters etc. It's nice to see the level designs getting more and more detailed compared to before. And lastly, which I feel has the most effort put in would be the camera drones. They function just like a normal camera and also have a Death Wish or Titan version which is unbreakable. To break them, just shoot at a camera, but please don't do it. You most likely fail the heist because a flying broken camera gets spotted easily. Camera, stay back. Signs of trespassing. Damn it! That's the alarm! And the counterpart to Murky Station, we have Boiling Point, which is a loud only heist. Most noticeably are the Russian units, so go have fun and enjoy all their sounds and whatnot. Other than that, we have another forest rather than an urban landscape which can be extremely irritating because the AI can spot and shoot you through the trees, branches and leaves while players have a harder time doing so. You'll see some familiar, uh, familiar assets as well like parachuting, mission C4, objectives to defend. Though the, mission, uh, though the missile launcher blast and EMP effect is something new. Something newly featured in this heist is the server loot where its value actually increases when more objectives are met rather than just churning out more and more of the same loot like cook-off, center's workshop and counterfeit. I do hope we see more of such things like that in future heists. And that's all I have for you in this first look video. Go play the new heist if you haven't, or check out my gameplay videos, which will also be in the video description below. I'll keep working on more informative and entertaining videos, and I'm now up on Twitter, you can check it out. I'll mostly be posting updates to what I'm working on and when my videos get released, so I won't be spamming if you decide to follow. 
other than that drop me a comment if you have any and i'll see you in the next video unknown knight signing off <laughs>